director says, well, why don't you start the scene sitting down? And you say, I think it's going to be more interesting if I am in motion. And it will be. Because when actors, uh, you know, unless you absolutely, hmm, American Beauty, two people at dinner, you have to be sitting down. But if you do not have to be planted somewhere, try not to be. And here's the reason. It always looks like an actor waiting to hear action. You know, okay. rather than being up and about and, and uh, just really having a more physical doing, you know, okay. e even though I loved hearing your beautiful voice, um, I, I, let, let's try to have some movement in here. And I think also, if you could establish that, that um, Georgia is a character who is put upon all the time, yeah, you know, that's going to be a lovely thing. And what I mean by that is people who are put upon are usually the people who are doing the dishes, folding the laundry, sweeping the floors. You know, you have all the responsibility and she just comes in here with a little glass of water and just drinking water. Visually, that is something that the audience is really going to get that, oh, wow, you know, this woman is put upon. She's burdened by this relationship. And then when you go to getting her to change, and then also it, it, it's going to allow Alicia to maybe come in here and try to help with, the, you know, the, the you know, snapping of the beans or, or just whatever it is that you've decided to do, you know, that maybe she can try to help you to show you that she, you know, that's part of her con. I can help you with that. I can fold the clothes or whatever. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. We, so, yeah. we discussed that. Yeah. We, did, we didn't quite know how we were going to do it because we obviously put the scene on the porch, mm -hmm. but that's a good note, though. Yeah. Yeah, because we did discuss it, trying yeah, to yeah, figure it out yeah. something. As small as these changes know. are, they really translate in a big way. You know, and, and, and also, if, if you're folding the clothes, you can do it in a way that's like, okay, you're going to fold my, my dish cloths, whatever, and, and life goes on. Or you can be folding them in a way that shows us, I had it with her, how much longer is she going to stay, I'm sick of her. You know, and the audience is going to get this, like, oh, she's kind of in a mood here. You know, and, and it, it translates, and the audience gets that. So let, let's start the um, scene from a, just a, a little bit different place, a little different doings. And then I think that um, uh, you did something when you saw, I wish I could vanish, that, that whole business there. Uh, you got reflective, and, and that's something I, I bust all my <coughs> actors on, being reflective. And, and do you know what I mean by that? Like going in, yep. in it's like, I wish I could, you know, you just dreamy, yeah. Um, that's almost never, we see it a lot in, in you know, we've seen a lot in soap operas, TV shows, um, but it's not going to be as interesting as you engaging her. You know, I want to vanish. You know why? Because my life is hard. Because you're here burning, you know, wearing my ass out. Yeah, you know? So I think that, that, that it, it incorporates her more. And, um, and there's something about needing the other person in the scene, it makes you more interesting. As soon as you remove the other person from the scene, which you do when you get reflective, you remove your audience. It, it's, it's like a law of physics. I don't know why it happens, but it does. I've never seen it not happen. It, I've never seen an actor not be more engaging and interesting needing the other actor in the scene. So, so let's not be reflective there. Um, and I think, uh, you, I think you can kick her ass a little bit more with the whole gobbling it up thing, you know, because I think that that's where you finally show her you, you, enough is enough. You've had enough of her.